Hey everyone, welcome back to the Power Baseball League. So in our last video, we created a forms processing model and trained that with a new short form that looks something like this. And what we're gonna do today is attempt to put this form into a app and um, so that we could take a picture of the form or submit the form quickly on the app and um, process it there and submit the data directly to CRM. So in the spirit of full disclosure, this is not my area of expertise. I did attempt this video once before and kind of came up with a few changes to make it a little bit better and make sure it works for our scenario. So before this video, here's what we needed to do is I went ahead and this is the model we created last time and we still needed to publish that model. So previously this looked the same, it says it was trained but we needed to go in here and make sure that the model was published. And you can click this button and that just takes a few minutes. Also, I went ahead and created a new entity just for the data on this form. And I went ahead and made this match the same fields that we have on the form, our child's name, date of birth, years played, and email. And this is something we didn't have to do, right? We could do this logic within the app or within the, um, Power Automate, something like that, but I wanted to put it right here all together to make sure it's just a little bit simpler for our use case, right? So let's get that published and then we're going to go create our new app. Excellent. So I'm already within our solution. So let's go back here and we're going to create a new app, a Canvas app for the phone. I am going to connect this to the common data service to that new entity that I created. I think that will simplify a few of our things. But, okay, on our first page, let's go ahead and insert our forms processing model. AI Builder, forms processing. Yep, don't show me these things. I'm going to choose our short form. And... Let's drop something in there to, so we can see some data as we're working. And we'll see it's already identified all four of our fields. Let me zoom in a little bit for you guys see what's happening. It already identified our fields. We can see our confidence score and everything. So let's insert a new screen that's going to be a form. And we can connect this to that new entity that we created. So let's search for that. I just called it short form. We can make that our data source. Excellent. And we're going to want to edit these fields to pull in the fields that we want. So we move that. But we're going to add in our date of birth. We're going to add in our years played. And we're going to add in our email address. And now what I would like to do is set our value here to be from the form we just processed. So we don't want this to be our parent because we do not have a parent. Set that to our learn processing professor fields, and it's going to be our child name field. Go, Martha Marmalade, love it. And we're going to do the same for our date of birth. So let's see if we can do that here. See if that will 
do what we wanted to. Is that right? Probably should have had that one pulled up so we can check. Let's do that in a second. Years played. Same thing. but not least. Testing my spelling today. Paddington Bear. So this will give the chance for whoever is in this app to review and make updates if they need to. And then let's add in a button to, well, we don't even need to add in a button to submit um, because we have one here. It's going to submit our form. And what we're going to also want this to do is then navigate back to our screen one, our hierarchy here, back to our forms processing. And let's also reset our, the current form we're on. Let's see what happens here. Let's play this guy from screen one. Let's go. All right, let's analyze a, oh, we forgot a very important step. We need to get from this page to the other page, right? <laughs> All right, let me add a button for that. Just going to have that navigate to screen two. Excellent. Yeah, and one note here is that we should be renaming all these fields and all these components with readable names to help with accessibility and just also help you when you're working. But in the sake of time, I didn't do that. So let's do this. And all right, so let's upload a new document here so we can see it work for real. All right, we have Jeremy Baramy. We're gonna see if it identifies all the fields and I can review it as well as a human looking at it. All right, and it looks like it did identify all of our fields. We're gonna click next. We're gonna see all of them appear on our edit screen. Of course it didn't beauty of live demos. But I am seeing the data here. So why was I not seeing it there? I think there's a form property that I am missing. Which one is it? That might be my problem. Let's try again. All right, we already have our data here. We're gonna click next. There it is, already put in and fabulous. We're gonna click our check mark. So what this should be doing is submitting it to CRM, which we're gonna check, or to CDS. And then we can come here and test another form. So we click another guy. We're going to watch it process. Click next. Yep, we missed years played, but I can fill that in manually if I want to. I can update this email, correct any spelling mistakes that I need to. Excellent. All right, let's jump back into CDS and see if we see that there. So we'll just go to our short form field here. We're going to go to our 
data. Look, we have those guys there. I don't know if you can see all fields. Excellent. Cool. So there you have it. This is obviously not a super beautiful app or anything like that, but again, in less than 10 minutes, we took that forms processing model, put it in an app, and submitted that data right to CDS. And like I said, I'm not an expert at these things. I spent you know, less than 15 or 20 minutes probably researching and playing around with it prior to this video. And then here we just jumped in and you saw me fumble around a bit to find the right things, but kind of quick and easy to build something that can read that data and process it for your business. So excellent. So we'll hope to see you next time on Power Baseball League. I think we're going to start talking about other ways to collect this data and get it into the system. Thanks. Okay, so a quick PS is we can also play this from our mobile phone, right? So the app we just built, I published that, and then I went here, and it lets you choose to upload or take a picture, and then it's going to do this exact same thing. So it's going to process the model, and then we'll be able to submit it, and it's going to send all of that same data to CDS. So quick for people maybe in the field, they're capturing this data, ca getting those forms, and they're able to take a picture on their phone and submit it right away and be manually making updates as they go along.